Hey guys, so today I am upgrading my NAS to have a bit more storage. I'm using FreeNAS, um, so let's log in and see. What I have here is um, I've got two pools. Let's go to the storage. Um, my pool one uh, consists of one terabyte drives and pool two consists of um, actually two terabyte drives um, but I have been replacing them with four terabyte drives for a while now um, I think I'm ready running RAID 1Z or whatever this is there's pool one with a three one terabyte drives and pool two has got just one two terabyte drive left and I've got these two NAS drives of four terabyte each already installed. Um, the way I do it is if I want to replace ADA ADA2 or ADA3, here you can see this is ADA3 we want to replace. Um, then you just go to the um, pool um, and you click on this little gear next to the pool you want to upgrade or whatever. So this pool has got um, if you click on the status here, you'll see there's ADA3, 4 and 5. So ADA3 is my small drive, um, that's the one I need to replace. So what I do is I just take it offline, shut down the machine um, and install the other drive that I want to install. Um, at the moment there's nothing wrong with my system. Um, I mean, no errors and stuff like that. So, uh, this the, the only reason I'm replacing it. But this will also be good if you have a faulty drive, or the same same way. You can take it offline or just replace it if it is offline already. So I'm taking ADA three offline. Um, confirming that. So now I've got the drive offline and obviously my pool will be degraded. Let's see in the dashboard. I've got a degraded pool here. It shows me something's not right with my pool too. Um, there we go, degraded. So yeah, it is RAID, RAID Z1. Um, I'm just going to go to the NAS and replace the drive that is faulty or too small. In whichever case, um, you can now go to the machine and physically replace it with a new drive. Um, let's go there and I'll be back for the rest of this. Okay, so here we go. I've taken off the covers of the NAS already this is my NAS shut it down okay um, I think I believe it's this drive I need to replace uh, that's quite a machine or mission on this machine I have to remove the this front tray or whatever with all the drives unplug everything and unscrew the drive and then I can replace it so I'm quickly going to do that and uh, then I'll get back to the um, the the web interface so that you can see what i how to initialize the drive okay cool um so i'm replacing it with this uh iron wolf four terabyte nas drive um the, the one i've got in there is uh just actually a normal two ter two terabyte i think it might be a sshd but yeah not the not the nicest drive for this system so let me quickly do that and uh, we'll see what we can do next. Okay. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see of what I'm doing. I can just get this package open, opened up. There we go. And there's our brand new Iron Wolf. Let's put that aside for now. Quickly taking um, out 
uh, everything that's in here unplug the cables with freeness it doesn't matter which cable you plug in where um, of the SATA cables they they don't mind that at all these machines can work in or the hard drives can work in any order but I like to keep them in order <laughs> But where, yeah, with previous NAS systems, there was some issues if you if you switch them up. Okay, yeah. So I'm just quickly gonna replace or unscrew this. I think I believe it's the third drive from the bottom. If I remember correctly, it should be. This is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, two, three. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing, but that's not always possible. So let's see if I can get this out. Out. Oh, there we go. It's coming. Yeah. Okay, that was quite a mission to get that one out. So there we go, this is a oh, normal two terabyte, I see now. The other one I took out previously was a, it was a mixture of two terabytes. The other one was a SSHD, this one is just a normal HDD. Um, so let's, I'm just going to put this one in, into its new... living place i don't know why it's so stubborn to go in i don't like it but that's the way this rack works it doesn't have any rubber spaces or anything so yeah okay there we go now for this oh this little screw here i normally just put one screw on this side for the vibration but these drives has got a lot less vibrations than older ones let's put this back now as you can see this is my own bolt my own machine and uh with IX systems, what do you call it? Um, free NAS, it's possible to turn um, hardware that you have into a, a NAS storage device. Where is all the plugs? Plug holes. that's all in um, the power supply I'm using here is the one that came with this old server case uh, I believe it's a what, I can maybe check there uh, oh that's a 300 watt okay uh, so there's a 300 watt power supply in here I thought it was something stronger in any case so all my drives are back plugged in again I'll just screw up put back all the screws or whatever and uh, show you guys what what to do in the uh, web web interface okay we are back at the NAS I um, mean the web interface um, so it's got two of the messages here Pool has been degraded, um, that was me um, taking the drive offline, so let's go to pool 2, this is it, um, we can just click on the little gear button there, um, 
and you can see this drive is offline and it's actually missing now so what I want to do now is just click on this dots here and say replace drive um, we're gonna replace it with the ADA3 and uh, replace disk so let's let's see what happens We'll have a look now in disks also, just to see how the, or if the disk is showing up there. I should have done that in the, in the, in the start, but no, nah. you know me. Okay, um, this shouldn't take too long. Um, Replacing disk successfully replace disk. Uh, so yeah. Great. Let's go to disks. Um, by the disks, we can see ADA three. Uh, it is there. It's also a three or four terabyte now. So I've got my three four terabyte drives and uh, I think this means my pool size was Like you'll see here 666 <laughs> triple six um, uh, It is in a degraded state because it is resilvering. Um, let's go here yeah, it says resilvering and it's now at one percent it's going to take quite a while because there's a lot of data on there but um yeah that's initializing and replacing the drive um i'll maybe wait for that to finish and then we'll just have a look at what the size of the pool is after i have replaced the final drive Okay, so the free NAS has booted, um, it's up and running, I mean, it didn't boot, it finished the resoldering of the pool, um, of the data, of the drives. If I go to pools now, um, it says my pool is healthy, if you can remember, I only had about 666 gig free, now I have 4 terabytes free. Um, that just means that the pool does upgrade if you add larger drives it upgrades on its own the size so I've added this drive first uh, ADA 5 then ADA 4 it took me about two or three days to do the whole process um, the final drive was, was this one when I removed the two terabyte there put in the four terabyte all of a sudden now I've got um, much more space um and only 40 percent used uh, where it was um, 80 percent used <coughs> previously so yeah that's it my drives everything is working fine my nas is happy and i'm happy and uh yeah excellent system this thanks for watching